Okay, hi. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial on how I did my wrap yesterday, or maybe a couple days ago, depending on when I get this uploaded. Um, it was the one with the right here with the blue and then the hot pink. This is my second time doing this, but the first time I didn't have a mirror in here and it was just too hard for me to do. So I have a mirror that's down here, so occasionally I might have to take a peek at it. Um, it's like two, it's after two o'clock in the morning and everybody's asleep. So I'm in the movie room because it's soundproofed. Okay, so I'm gonna put my scarf on. I'm gonna put my scarf on my head um, with one side long and one side really short. And instead of folding it at the back, I mean, instead of folding it to fit my head, I'm going to have all of the extra fabric on the top of my head. Okay, so what I did is I wanted the border by my face on one side and so I had that on the side where my tails were. So you just take that and you know place it like that and then pull this back at an angle and I've still got all this stuff up here. Just pull it down as neat as you can and grab a hold of everything in the back and cross, cross your tails. Okay, so then I have a small short tail over here and I'm going to try and hold it under my arm. Okay, so then I'm going to take this extra fabric and I'm going to hold it. So that it's against my face. And then add an angle. Okay, now I have this long end over here, and what that looks like. Okay, once again, I'm going to try and hold it like that. So, I need this pink side flipped around. So I think that it works better when you take it like this and just turn it towards the back, I think. And fold it all up. And let's go back, so I'm just kind of folding it onto itself. And bring it over and kind of Take it at a slight angle in the opposite direction so that it's coming down here. So here's my short one. And I got this long one over here. <clears throat> oh, I messy. It got it's messy. So I got a little part that didn't get tucked. gonna twist it and shove it up underneath there. Okay. I'm pulling really pretty snugly because I'm gonna need like every bit of the scarf possible because I have a big head and I use, I have a lot of volume in the back. Okay, so 
here we are. And I'm going to take it, pull it back around to the other side. All right, I'm trying to think. Okay. All right. So what I want to do is I want to have, I'm just kind of folding it like this. I, again, want to have the border coming across, you know, across my head. And this angle is going to be going across like this. So I just kind of fold in it a teeny bit and then brought it back like that. You can, you know, fix the border how you want it. And take these ends and kind of hold them down. And then I took the end and I got a pocket here and I kind of, and I pushed them through. I'm just gonna pull it up here for a second. Okay, and because I didn't tie a knot, this feels a little loose and I don't really like it, like it. So what I did is I took this tail and again, I brought it through this thing right here. this one down like that let me see okay that is basically what I did. Um, and again, it might not be as neat. And I don't know what my shape looks like back there. Um, let's see. Hmm, not too bad. Okay. Kind of pull that down a little bit. It's a little bit high. We could have had this, you know, this side, this one, like a teeny bit longer. And if you have a smaller head and you don't wear as much volume that I, as I do, then, you know, you could have yours um, a little bit longer than mine. And that's how I did this wrap that um, is the brainchild and totally inspired by Cindy Rockwitz. So let me know um, if let me know if anything's not clear or anything like that and I'd be happy to help and I hope you all have a good day or a good night or whatever wherever you are.